FarmWorks has traveled to Bryan, Ohio, where we met up with Chris Eschhoven on how he uses FarmWorks Mobile with his Trimble Yuma computer. So Chris, can you uh, tell us a little bit about your farm, uh, how big and how many acres you farm? We're working about 1,600 acres right now between my cousin and I. And uh, generally corn, soybeans is the biggest rotation, just a little bit of wheat within that. So uh, working with that. And then we also work a consulting business as well, kind of touching base on a lot of different aspects with the GPS environment and uh, just helping other guys do a better job with what they're trying to get their goals accomplished and whatever. And a lot of that then involves the soil sampling aspects of it. Okay. So you're using the, uh, the Trimble Yuma, it's a rugged tablet computer, uh, also has the FarmWorks mobile software loaded on it. Uh, the software is what really makes the, the hardware tick and operate. Uh, what kind of jobs are you using that uh, mobile computer for? Right now, Brian, we're just using it for the soil sampling purposes of it. And it's been working great along that lines. Uh, a number of years ago we used it for other aspects, but we've kind of fine-tuned it down and it's predominantly doing our soil sampling aspects. So tell us a little bit about the, the Trimble Yuma and what type of features you like about this rugged computer. A lot of things, Brian. It's uh, the ruggedness of it, the larger screen obviously that works very, very well with it, the built-in GPS aspects. You know, where we've graduated from a number of years ago and getting started with the industry, what we had available to us then was very small screens and uh, they were all that we had at that point in time, so we worked with those. But graduating into these, um, our productivity has, I can say, pretty well doubled as far as the guys in the field actually pulling those soil samples and soil points, um, getting all that stuff streamlined through. Um, ruggedness of it, if it falls off, you know, they talk about you can throw it in the water or whatever. We don't worry about that rainstorm that's coming up, if it's going to sprinkle on them. You know, eventually they want to get that inside the cab or the car or whatever they happen to be in, but uh, we're not worried about it when it, that rainstorm comes up quickly, so they don't have to worry in those aspects. GPS is always right there um, when they go to the field, and that was not the case a number of years ago, trying to get all those things connected and trying to hold signals. And we spent a lot of time and a lot of downtime just trying to get signals up when... You know, our guys are traveling maybe two hours away from the home office here, that type thing, and it's just, it's very discouraging when things don't work that way. Yuma has been right there, um, has not been a problem at all, and we're just, we're very pleased with the productivity of it all the way around. That's great. Where, where do you see yourself in five years when it comes to the soil sampling piece and the technology and where it's going? That's kind of interesting that you would ask that, I guess. And I, I just look back and... Um, where we were five years ago and where we are today is who would have thought, you know, that we're doing the things that we're doing today. So the next five years probably is going to go at light speed as well. Um, but I got to think that uh, all of the connected farm and the aspects of taking information that we're collecting in the field, in this case with the Yuma and soil points in this point, um, and getting that information transferred in a good way back to the office without having to work with cards and all those aspects, getting it there quickly, um, all of those aspects has got to be absolutely paramount in what's happening next. Um, you know, it, beyond this, we're talking about talking combines to combines and planters to planters and all that information, just getting connectivity between it is just exploding at the moment. And, and in five years, um, it'd be real interesting to know where we're going to be. But I got to think that that all is, that type of an environment is where we're going to.